uh, the fourth expo and we've got uh, 40,000 people coming here uh, this year so it's the biggest one we've ever held. We've got more consoles, more games than ever before but actually we've got loads of other features part of the show so you know we've got more tournaments like World Cyber Games, uh, Pro Gaming, uh, we've got uh, a careers fair, we've got um, you know uh, cosplay competitions, we've got developer sessions, you know there's just like loads of different things going on so you know one person coming to the show will have a different you know completely different experience to someone else who comes to the show. Well we do have uh, tons of other stuff to look at but um, we've stumbled into the retro area here and I don't think we're going to get Dan out of here anytime soon. It's reps on them. It's a cheetah 125 plus. This is what I used to play in the 80s. Amazing. Yeah, we've actually we've got appointments, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll be, I'll be with you in a second. Probably, probably want to go. Some. So the uh, replay area here at the Eurogame Expo is possibly the best retro uh, area I've seen at any trade show, that includes E3. Uh, there's, there's, there's a chance for people to get their hands on all manner of uh, old school arcade games, as, as we've seen with the tabletops here. Um, there's loads of old consoles, home computers, so I was just getting uh, to grips with the, the Spectrum, which was my computer choice back in the 80s. Uh, and over here we've got all the old handhelds, remember the Atari Lynx, that big bulky battery eating uh, piece of uh, machinery? Um, and just plenty more. So. If people get tired of queuing up for Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3, this is the ideal place to come and chill out with some of the, uh, the real classics.